Welcome back to another episode of Smackdown Dark. And it is my honor and my privilege to be your host for the evening. I am your friendly neighborhood j Dog, And speaking of friendly, there is nothing friendly, dare I say, about Ruby Riot. You see, when Ruby Riot is out here, man, it is all about chaos. It is all about kicking ass and taking names. But well, Ruby Riot, man, one of the most exciting uh, up and coming talents here in WWE. Now let's see what she could do tonight. If I had one word to describe Ruby Riot, it is unique and real. She is as real as they come, and what you see is what you get for Ruby Riot. She has been punk rock since day one, and she doesn't change for anybody or anything. You have to respect that about one Ruby Riot. As she awaits her opponent here tonight, and speaking of respect, you have to respect the talents, the accomplishments of one Mickey James, who's looking fantastic tonight. Hoping to get a victory here against the young up and coming Ruby Riot. And for those of you who don't know, man, Mickey James is not only a an accomplished professional wrestler, professional wrestler slash sports entertainer, whatever you want to call it. Miss Mickey James is also an accomplished country singer. Believe it or not, for those of you who didn't know, go check her out, man. Mickey James, man, looking great tonight. This is going to be a tremendous matchup. And Mickey can sing me to sleep any day of the week. Anyways, can't wait to see this action. This is our opening bout here on SmackDown Live. And this crowd is rocking, man. Did I say SmackDown Live or SmackDown Dark? Anyway, getting a little old, a little C now. But what I can see is the action that's about to take place in this ring right now. And it's Mickey James versus... Oh, Ruby Riot catches her. With a super kick right to the face into a crucifix pin here. One, two. Oh man, a two and a half. She almost got her early on in this match. I can't believe it. Ruby Riot. Drop down. Leapfrog. Ruby. Oh, goes for the drop kick, but the nice defense there by Mickey James. And there you see she also has very educated feet. Both these women like to use their feet, man. They have that in common. But what they don't have in common, this is a contrast. Of uh, the experience. Oh my god. Another chop by Ruby. And now Ruby bringing out F Fist and Fury here in the corner. Getting a little punk rock for you here, man. Early on, Ruby Riot looking good. And here goes Ruby, man. A Hurricane Rana. Uh oh. Mickey James. Beautiful defense again by the experienced veteran. Like I said, she has. That's the contrast here, man. We got the experience. And accomplishments of uh, Mickey James on one side and the youth, the youth and potential of Ruby Riot on the other side. What's gonna what's gonna give tonight, man? Here's Mickey James. This is vintage Mickey James pushing off the ropes and a bulldog. Right to Ruby Riot drives her head right through that mat. Didn't go for the cover there. See, that's the experience, man. She knows she's not gonna get her that quick. And she get an arm bar here. She hasn't been working on the arm, but an arm bar here. I don't know if she's going to get a tap out. But this is a good move to keep Ruby Riot grounded. Put that pressure on her. Referee right there in good position, man. If Ruby taps out, he's going to see it. But no, Ru Ruby. Ruby gets out of it there in the right hands, right to the face. But you can see the damage is done there to the arm. Oh, nice. Oh, man, I thought I was going to go for a pin, but beautiful move. A roll through into a kick to the face of Mickey James. Back and forth action here at the beginning of this match. No woman so far has held the uh, first couple minutes of this match. Nicely done a suplex there. None of these women have held the advantage for long here. It's been back and forth. But Ruby's in control right now. Ruby. Oh, going for a suplex there. But beautiful move there by Mickey James. And a kick right to the midsection. Mickey James measuring her here. I thought she was taking too long, but she still got her. Russian leg sweep by Mickey. And like I said, this is back and forth. Man, I'm excited to be here on SmackDown Dark. Big thank you to Dell, man, for giving me this opportunity. Appreciate it, brother. Oh, my God. Mickey James is not going to appreciate those knife edge shop chops. You could hear it all the way from your living room. Look at this. And vintage Ruby Riot now. 
That is vintage Ruby right there. She goes for a cover because she have knocked her out there in the turnbuckle. Two. No, another two and a half. Ruby Wright's come closer here than Mickey James at the beginning of the match with that crucifix. And now with another cover there, almost another two and a half. If we're scoring on points here, do you got to give this to Ruby Riot? Doesn't matter anyway. That's probably a moo Paul. There you go. And she went, she went for the chops again. And Mickey James, again, the experience of Mickey James. That's where experience comes in, man. She saw her. She went to the well one too many times. And that time she blocked the chops, and Mickey is back in control here this match. Oh, man, of Mickey James with a big miss, though, off the second buckle. She'll go to the top, and she'll go fly, but that's not her forte, man. Mickey James is a fighter. Wants to keep it on the ground. Look at that move! Beautiful into a pin. Two, and no! Oh, another two and a half. So close. So close. Tell me, man, Ruby Wright has come very close, but Mickey James has played great defense all match. What's going to give here? Is Ruby going to finally get one of those close calls, or is Mickey's defense going to turn into some great offense and be able to get the victory here? We get a little sip of water here, children, as Ruby Wright gets uh, pumped up. Stay hydrated, boys and girls. Mickey James now. James crawling up. She is hurt, man. Ruby Riot measuring. Is she taking a little too long? Is she? Oh, man, she did. She caught her with the mick kick. She took too damn long. Mickey James is going to get this victory. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. She has not done enough damage, but, man, she caught her out of nowhere. This could be it, man. It could be easy pickings now for Mickey James. What a kick out of nowhere, man. The youth, again, an inexperience of, Mickey, of uh, Ruby Riot. Maybe catching up to her there. The experience of Mickey James, man, just caught her off guard out of nowhere. Oh, my God. Speaking of catching her now, there's the educated feet by Ruby Riot. Bringing the riot on here, man. Oh, my God. You can see it there right to the face. Mickey James. Mickey James is in trouble here. Ruby now measuring her. Not wasting any time this time. She learned, and there it is. The riot kick. The riot kick. She's gotten plenty of two and a halves. Can she get a three here? Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Ruby Riot with the impressive victory over Mickey James. What an opening contest here, man. There you saw it. She took too long with that one. She caught her with the mid kick. Was able to kick out, though. And then she brought the chaos, baby. She brought it to Mickey. Learned from her mistakes. And this time just measured her, didn't waste any time. Boom. Riot kick right to the face. Good night, Mickey James. What a victory here by Ruby Riot on our opening match of a SmackDown Dark. And don't you dare go anywhere because we're going to have more action here on this edition of SmackDown Dark, man. Unbelievable. Big time win for one Ruby Riot.
Here we go. We are back for more action here on SmackDown Dark. This is our featured bout of the evening. Thanks again for joining us here tonight. And coming down the aisle now, you see Mustafa Ali. And we talked about Ruby Riot being exciting, being up and coming. Well, it doesn't get more exciting and up and coming than this man, Mustafa Ali. Maybe pound for pound, one of the best in-ring talent that we have seen in a long time. And he can go inside this squared circle. But if history will teach us anything, is that in-ring talent itself will not, will not get you to the top. It won't. There's a lot of men that have been very, very talented and cannot live up to the pressure, cannot handle the pressure. But we talk about pressure, man. Here's a man, Axel Perfect, who is not shying away from the pressure of carrying his family lineage, his family, the prestige of his family. And he's carrying that on his broad shoulders, man. Going back to his grandfather, the great Larry the Axe Henning, and then, of course, and one of my favorites, one of my personal favorites, his dad, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning, multiple time Intercontinental Champion, and one of the legends in our industry. And again, Axel Perfect is not shying away from that. He is embracing it and taking on that pressure of living up to his family name. And that says a lot about this man. Will it get him a victory tonight? We'll see. But you got to give him credit for that, man. A lot of people say you're born when you're born with that. You're born with a silver spoon in your mouth. And that might be true. You might be getting more opportunities because of your name. But at the same time, it is a burden that you have to carry. It is a burden that you have to carry. And it's that pressure that is built on you, man. That pressure, that mental pressure. Hey, can I live up to my family's name? And it's not easy. You get the opportunities, but it's not easy once you get there, man. And you got you to gotta get it done. And here we go. This is our featured bout. And this is going to be a lot tougher cont, I'll tell you. We saw Axel, Axel Perfect make his uh, debut last week on SmackDown. And, well, he was uh, <laughs> um, a, a, an unknown competitor, let's put it nicely, to not say that a J-word, jobber. Uh, anyway, we saw what Axel could do, but tonight we're going to get a much better look here on SmackDown Dark of what Axel uh, Perfect is all about, man. And this newfound attitude and newfound, uh, oh, look at this. And this new look, newfound attitude. Is it going to take him to the top here? And he's looking good so far here. Getting the upper hand early on on one Mustafa Ali. What Axel has, man, he has that raw power. He has that power that his grandfather... Ooh, nicely done. And He chopped him, but Mustafa Ali, that maybe woke him up. And Mustafa Ali using his educated feet here. Beautifully done. And Enziguri there brings down Axel. And I was boasting on Axel Rose before Mustafa Ali went, went off of him now here with his feet. But Axel's got that raw power of his uh, grandfather, Larry the Axe handing it. Oh, nice block. And there you go. He's got the abilities, the in-ring technical abilities of his father, Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning. He could be, no pun intended, the perfect package here in WWE if he puts it all together. But like I said with Mustafa, man, you got you have all that in-ring talent, but you got to put it together. You got to have the mental strength. You got to have the mental strength, the will to win, the, uh, the, the ability to just work hard and persevere. You got to have all those things, all those intangibles on top of the in-ring talent to be one of the best. And we know Axel's got it in his blood. Look at this. There's the excitement we talk about. Oh, man, a reverse bulldog there. A bulldog by Mustafa Ali. Can he get the cover? Well, he doesn't get the cover. Can he get the pinfall? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. A two and a half, and Mustafa's upset here at the official. Come on, man. You know, you, you, you got to do a lot more work than that to get uh, someone like the likes of Axel perfect. But Mustafa thought he had him there, man. He knows what kind of a victory this will be if he can defeat Axel perfect here tonight. Oh, look at this. Just bringing the aggression as well, man. Not only is he a high flyer, but Mustafa has shown that he has some aggression here, and he can, he can wrestle on the mat as well. This is going to be a great contest. Already we see a near fall. We've seen some great defense by Mustafa. We've seen glimpses of the power and the ability of Axel Perfect. Nicely done there. Spinning heel kick by Mustafa Ali. Uh oh And this is where Mustafa's dangerous if he decides to go airborne. And he does. Up and over the top rope. 
and down goes Axel. Perfect man, Mustafa Ali rocking this capacity crowd. You can hear the referee admonishing the, the count. I think it's up to a uh, three. Going to be a four count here? No, I guess the referee stopped counting. There you go, four count. Referee a little slow. Maybe he didn't have his coffee this morning. Guys, get back in the ring here, man. We don't want to see a count -out. We want to see a winner here. Smackdown dark, but Axel perfect now putting the hurting with a suplex here on the outside. Is he going to take a count out victory? Is Axel going to be happy with a count out victory here? Hey, a you know what they say? A win is a win. As the old great legendary manager of Mr. Perfect, you say Bobby the Brain Heenan, man. You win by any means necessary. doesn't matter. Big boot there by Axel. And he gets a two and a half. Wow. And I think that big boot will get him a two and a half, but it did, man. It might have knocked out Mustafa Ali or at least knocked him loony enough. And Axel back on the offense here. Did the damage outside. Now back in this ring. And they go nice block there by Mustafa. Can he turn it around? Nicely done there by Axel, man. You see the ability there. You see the technical abilities. And just the athleticism of Axel Perfect. Again, I don't want to seem redundant or throw these puns out, but he might be the perfect athlete if he puts it all together. Nicely done, Hurricane Rana there. By one Mustafa Ali. And oh, there you go. I thought he was going out again. I said, this is when Ali is at his best, man, when he's flying around. I was going to say, maybe he took too long. Nobody's measuring him up and over. Sunset flip into a power bomb to the floor. And that is going to leave a mark. On the back of Axel Perfect. Into the barricade. And now Mustafa Ali putting a hurting here. Oh, one Axel outside the ring. Returning the favor. You want to punish me outside the ring? You know what? I could do the same thing, man. He gets, he's exciting. He can fly over that top rope. But then, like I said, he could get mean and he could get nasty. And here we go again. Oh, man. It went to the well one too many times. He got caught there, side swipes him, and now a big time side suplex by Axel Perfect. Both times, man, Mustafa Ali has got the upper hand going to the outside, but Perfect has been able to uh, counter twice. That's that experience, that's that uh, wrestling in your blood, man, in your DNA. He's just got to catch him, he's got to bring that inside. Look at that impressive maneuver. Belly to back suplex there and a big time elbow right to the face. Measured him perfectly. I gotta stop with these puns, man. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that and over the head. Belly to belly again by one Axel Perfect. And he is feeling it here tonight. This crowd's not feeling him that much, man. Kind of like Mr. Perfect, man, for a long time with Bobby Heenan. They, they, his dad, they love to hate him. We can say it that way. They love to hate him. Well, Axel Perfect gained that respect. Oh, here we go again. Another sunset play over the top. This time into a pin combination. He's inside the ring. Can he escape here? Can he steal a victory? No. A close call there. Mustafa Ali's come close on a couple of occasions here. Oh, nicely done. But every time Mustafa Ali has the upper hand, Axel Perfect just turns things around. And here he goes now grounding him. Here's the power game now. The power game, man, by Axel Rose. By Axel. Axel Rose. Axel Perfect. <laughs> I told you guys, man, I'm getting a little old and seen out here. It's my dementia kicking in. Look at that. Nice Hurricane Rana there by Mustafa Ali. I'm perfect. Here we go, Mustafa. Now, what's he thinking here? Has Axel on that top rope. If he hits a big move here, this could be over, man. This could be the home run he's looking for here. Mustafa Ali all the way to the top. Look at that. He got all of it. Go for the cover, man. Go for the cover, Mustafa. He's not. He's got something else in mind. He's going to finish him off here. Is he going to go for that 450 splash? There he goes. Oh, man. And beautiful defense. Perfect defense by one Axel Perfect. And here he goes. He measures him and he snaps the neck, man. Vintage Mr. Perfect move there. 
by the son of the legendary Mr. Perfect looking to become a legend himself. Can he get another victory here? On our feature bout here on SmackDown, dog, look at this. It's a perfect plex. Perfectly executed. Two, three. Good night, Mustafa Ali. Oh, man, what a featured contest here. Take nothing away from one Mustafa Ali, but look at this. They're a costume right there, man. All match long, that was a story. Every time Mustafa Ali would go up to the top, be exciting, get that upper hand. Axel Perfect would turn it around, and it was... And that's exactly what it was at the end. Went to the top. If you would have hit it, it could have been over. But that's why they call it high risk, high reward. It didn't pay off for Mustafa Ali. But here we go. Our winner, man, Axel Perfect. What a victory. Can he continue to rack him up? Can he continue to move up the ranks here in WWE? What a victory here. What a night here on SmackDown Dark. Thank you all for joining us, and thanks again, Adele, for allowing me this honor and this privilege to be your host tonight. See you guys next time, man. Axel Perfect.